Hello, 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 Craft Angels. It's Vanessa here from Angel Rose Designs. And today we're going to make this little thing here. And this is my, I designed. I mean, there may be people that have done this before, but this is my design that I did. So it's a little ATC wallet, or you can use it as a gift card wallet or, you know, anything that will fit in a three inch pocket. Okay. So what you're going to need for this, as soon as I can get all this wrapped up, I have to shorten the string a little bit. You're going to need your squeezers. Hi, Miss Margaret. Hi, Miss Carrie. Your glue magnets a scoring tool you can use a bone folder i'm going to use this tool right here you're going to need a pencil or la crayon as they say in french cardstock your uh pattern paper scoreboard and my pattern paper is from the paper studio okay and you're going to also need a Mr. Rolly. And maybe a corner rounder, depending. You're going to need a circle punch, which this is the circle punch I use, but I prepared some of the circles beforehand, but it seems like I have misplaced the puppies. I wonder if I put them in my little container here with all the tools that I use normally. Let's take out this little contraption here and put that up here because I don't need that. I don't need, maybe we'll need a tape runner. Don't know yet. So I'm going to put one of those up there. There they are. There's my pre-cut circles. Okay, we have that. So I don't need my hole punch, but you will need one. And you're going to need a pokey tool. Okay, let me see. There's something that's bugging me on one of them. Right there. Now let's snip it off, y'all. Now, I don't know who will be joining me tonight. It's up to them if they want to. Um, you know, I won't say anything. Okay, we're going to get started. I have my instructions up, and I have everything ready to go, okay? So, on the 11-inch side, you will score at 5 and a half inches. Let me enlarge this a little bit so I can see something. Okay, on the 11, no, on an eight inch side. Eight inch side, y'all. Eight and a half inch side. Y'all want me to make this bigger? Y'all like my diamonds in the background, y'all? Let's make this a bit bigger. That bigger, Miss Carrie, or you want it bigger? I don't know how to do it full screen. So, you know. So, we're going to do this. And I'm going to score it at five and a half. I can't. I don't know how to make it bigger. That's the biggest I can make it. That's the biggest I can make it. Let me try something here. That better?
Is that any better? Okay, let's get to work. Now I'm going to use this side of my tool and no wait am i right or what on an eight and a half inch side score at five inches five and a half inches okay i'm gonna score right here i have to hold it up because the numbers are so small I'm going to score right here. This is five and a half. And then I'm going to turn to the 11 and inch side. And we're going to score at da, 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 a quarter inch. Okay. And then three and a quarter inch. Next score is a six and a half inches. All right. And your final score is at nine and a nine and a quarter inch. I have to hold this up because the numbers are so tiny I can't see it. Nine and a quarter right there. Let me do one better. Right there. That doesn't look big enough, though. Yeah, it is. I'm psyching myself out, y'all. So that's the end of the scoreboard. So we don't need that anymore. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to start to fold and we don't need the scoring tool anymore, so we can put that up. We're going to take Mr. Rolly here, and we're going to start rolling and burnishing all the score lines, okay? Let's turn this around. burnish this and now what we're going to do is take this and fold this back up and so there's no bulk here and here I'm going to completely cut off my score line okay now I'm going to hold it this way so I can see it better I'm going to completely cut this piece right here off cut right up to the where the score line is and it's gonna be like a little slither like so okay put that in our bin over there Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. Now, I'm only going to do, read the comments from the, um, the, from StreamYard because I, I do have both screens up, but I want to make sure that um, I can see things and see what the delay is on YouTube. Alrighty, last one. Now, this on this side here, 
we have our three pockets, one, two, and three, right? So this is an extra flap. What we're going to do, cut that right up to the score line there and cut just this piece off because this is going to be your flap for your closure here, all right? Like so. Now, if you're going to punch your holes out, you're going to need your pattern paper. That's going to be two of the pattern paper and one off of your little scrap here. Okay. So I don't need this. Now, we have all of this ditted. Now, see, we can probably cut this off too. We'll see. Yeah, let's trim this piece off here. Right on that score line, trim that little flap piece off. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is right here is take my tool, my scoring tool, and score the line for my flap to close okay oh i forgot one thing <laughs> you're gonna need brads all right so now we're gonna score this fold it over burnish them and that's gonna be our little flap here all right So, now, we're going to get into covering our flaps here, okay? Now, the size of the flaps for the pattern paper, I would write now. Okay. Let's see where I put... I, did some changes okay um you're gonna need three that are three and one sixteenth inch by two and seven eighths inch and they're gonna all be the same but i'm gonna show y'all how i'm gonna do it okay now all of this will be listed down below in the drop down box but i will also have it on my blog Okay, so I will have it in both places as soon as this live is over. Hi, Miss Joyce. Now, like I say in every video, if there's anything y'all would like to see me make, please let me know, and I will try my best to see what i can do to make that item for you and i seem to have lost oh there it is why is it does it look okay if it's clear for you guys i know for me on um stream yard is clear but it don't look clear to me on youtube does it look clear for y'all on youtube Let me know. So now we're going to go into, I'm still going to need my circle punch though. Okay. Now you can go in and you can round your corners if you want. I'm not going to do that. You can also ink everything. But you'll see on this one, it's, um, there's, I can't do nothing about it. I see it on my end. It's a bit blurry, but. None I can do. Oh, let me see something. Hang on a second. One second. Let me see if this will help it. It's going to go black for a second, but I'll try and see if it'll clear the 
the focusing up a bit. See, that helped. Now it helped a tiny bit. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is if you have directional paper, like this one, no matter which way I put it, it's going to look like some of it's upside down, some of it's the right way. I don't worry about it. So I'm going to turn my paper over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my three pockets right up to the line here. This is how I measure, y'all. I kid you not. And take my pencil. I want to go this one first. Here. This one. And I'm going right in between where I cut the, um, where I trimmed off the, the uh, what they call it, the score line. Now, you want to put your pattern paper on here before you punch your some holes, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is put this back down here and make it all even. I'm going to hold my paper down, my cardstock down, and then. Just get my line there. And then we're going to get the paper trimmer. Okay. Get our paper trimmer. Now, this is not all the decoration we'll do. We'll do more. And then we're going to take our paper, trim that, save that piece because you're going to need it. I'm telling you. And I'm just going to trim. Ah! Oh, it ripped my paper, y'all. It ripped my paper. Let me see. This one's going to be... Okay, I can cut a little bit off of that one. I can't believe I did that. If y'all don't want this to happen, what I do is I would like Line up my line in case this happens again. It only takes me once. I'll take my um, blade here, put it in the center, up, and then pull it down. And then it cuts that piece off. So now I have all three of my pieces, but one needs to be redone. So just take the other two, and I have my piece to the size. Straighten that out. Bring my blade to the center and cut it. Whoops. Now I got those three pieces done. Okay. I'm not gonna put them. I'm not put them on yet. Let's put that over there. We're gonna need. We can still use this piece, so we're gonna put that to the side. Okay. Now. Now what we need to do, and you're going to cut three of these, okay? So we have those. Now I want to see something. I want to make sure they all fit, okay? That one's there. The middle one I always have issues with. This one looks like it goes here, but it doesn't. So we're going to redo just the center. So take our paper. These two are good. Okay, 
But I want an eighth and of an inch showing on all four sides. So I'm just going to take this and trim it just a tad bit and get that did it. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. My pencil and outline. Okay, to make sure it's going to fit. I might have to do a tad bit of trimming, but that's all right. Because I know I need a lot more to lay all my papers down, okay? So, whoops. I'm going to put this at the end. Y'all can't see it, but that's the only way I can do it. Let me zoom out a bit. Mr. Camera. Let's zoom out a bit. Y'all still can't see, so there. I can't wait to see Miss Margaret. I'm going to put my my uh, blade in the center and cut it, okay? So I won't need this big one anymore. So, so I'm going to put that one up and we're going to start using the smaller one. Because that's less room on my desk, you know? So let's measure this and put this in the center like so. And that one's perfect, but I still want that eighth of an inch. So what I'm going to do is right on my hand, lay my scissors and trim that side. Do the same thing, turn it, lay the scissors on my hand and trim that piece. And I'm going to put this back on here. And we got, don't ask me how I did it, y'all, but. I have an eighth of an inch. The size that I want. Let me zoom back in so y'all can see. So we have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip these. Let me get my Tim Holtz. My little bitty paper clips, if I can find them. That way I can together. So I don't have to to try and find what goes where. I'll have everything already situated. Apparently, I can't find them. But I do have some paper clips right here, so we'll get used those, okay? This one goes here. And we have, whoops, let's move that back to his bin. This one goes here. And I'm gonna put this one right over her. So this one needs to be trimmed down a bit. So I'm gonna take my scissors, lay them on my hand, and trim. And so we have this one, okay? So that's done. That part is a dune. Let me put this in there. Get these paper clips out. I don't have that many, but we have some, all right? Let's put this back over there. Try to put everything back in its place as I work so I get used to it, you know? So now, we're going to do... I want to cover this part here okay so i have these three panels i have the back and i have this so whatever size this is i have to do six of them to fit the back also okay so what we're gonna do is take this fold it in do our closure Put it on here, like so. 
pull this down. Where did I put my pencil? Uh -oh. Let me put all my tools. Where they go? I seem to have lost my pencil, y'all. There it is. I'm going to just tra whoops, trace this and this way. I'm going to make, we're going to use this piece as a template, okay? This is how I do all my measuring. And then to do the um, block piece, I do it a different, I measure, re-measure, I measure them again and get you at a precise size to make each each item okay so now let me trim this little piece here off make sure it's butting against my little piece at the bottom and snip that off put it in my little tray up there let's move this out of the way and see how many more we can make out of this one so we're going to turn this up. I'm going to go one by one, okay? So I can make sure I have them the way I want them. So you went to the gym. Cool beans. Now I'm trying to cut a, a just a tad bit past my pencil mark okay right in the pencil mark and i'll bring my my blade in there and i'm going to go this way the same thing just a tad bit into past the pencil mark on this side on the right side of your pencil mark okay and do that see perfect fit I'm going to do it again. I'm going to trim this piece off right up to the pencil mark, making sure it's butted up against my little lip at the bottom, and you just trim off a slither. Then you're going to go back. Let's move this out of the way. So I made three panels out of this one piece. So we're going to have to get another piece of 12 by 12 which means we're going to have to um, bring out our big trimmer again. And we're going to do the same thing. We also need to cut out pieces for the flap. Okay, so we got three out of the six cut. Okay, so now this I think I can use to cut one piece of the flap. Yes, I can. So let's do that. And then while we have our big piece out, our 12 by 12, we can uh, cut out our other piece of the flap. Let's make sure this is straight, right up to that score line. Get our pencil and outline. And then we're going to cut our panel, our last three panels. So let's put that to the side and cut this down. Again, I'm cutting a bit, past, just a tad bit past the um pencil mark all the time making sure that my paper is butt up against the lip at the bottom of my trimmer here see there's a lip right here the same lip is down at the bottom so i make sure my paper is pushed up against there so now one more piece of 12 by 12 this is why you need three sheets of this Y'all think y'all may not need it, but it's needed. So, 
I want to put it this way. I want to take and put our paper right here. Mr. Nightbot is not working tonight. He's fired. And what I'm going to start doing for all my lives, okay, I will start to do all the measurements in Mr. Nightbot. I don't think I turned him on tonight. So, he may not be working. So, I'm going to take this, make sure it's butted up to the bottom lip of my trimmer, just past the pencil mark, lift up my uh, piece here, and move my, my blade to where I want it, and just trim it so it doesn't um, cut or mess up your paper. I'm going to turn this while I have it on here. Lift up the arm here and trim it. And that's number one. We need two more of those. I'm going to use the small uh, trimmer now. Let's cut that slither off. Put that over there. Okay. Make sure this is all straight. Let me zoom out a little because y'all can't see what I'm doing. Hey. Let's get the zoom box. There we go. Like that. And I'm just going to draw my line on the side. So we got four. We got that one. We need this one and one more. And then this is done. That's one. Now we're going to turn the paper. We can erase this. Let me find my pencil with the eraser. There we go. Instead of cutting it off each time, we're just going to erase the pencil mark because it's all in pencil. There we go. I wish I would have thought of that before. Then we're going to line this up. Make sure it's straight. Hold it. Let me see. I can see where the line is. Got it. So this is the the last one that we cut for that panel. So we got all six of our big panels here. Right there. And then we need one more of this one. Let's see if we can get it. Oh no, this is too small. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six panels here. And I need to cut them that eighth of an inch. So I'm going to take all of them together before I do my other flat panel. I'm going to just trim this to the size I need it. Lift up my arm here and there. Trim them all at the same time. Okay. So we got that. Now we need a piece to cut one more of the um, other, the flat panel. So we're going to go here and on the side. 
All right. I'm going to put this over here. Let me get these pieces out of my way. Put them over there to the side. And we're going to trim this one down. We're going to do the long side first. There. And then I'm going to bring this here. It's touching the lip. See, and I have it just a smidge past the line. I'm gonna bring my blade, lift up the arm, put my blade in the middle up, and then down that piece over there. So now we have both our pieces for the flap. Let me see what else we need. Let's bring our piece back. We're going to do this, and let's do the bigger pieces first. This is going to be the center, like so. And we have one more center piece that's on the back, but we'll do that after. And we have, uh-oh, this needs to be cut down some. And I'm going to just mark it with my pencil. Right there. Okay. So now I'm going to take four panels and cut them to the size I need them for the side panels. But before I do that, let me see. Where's the one that I marked? Right here. I want to make sure I have my middle panel for the back side. And that's perfect right there. So I can take these four so they fit on the side panels here, right? Where's my mark? Okay. We're gonna get our trimmer back out. Put that right in where it goes. Right there. In the center, up and down. And we got our side panels. Okay. So we got one here. One for here. Turn it over. We got one panel here. And one panel here. Okay. Now, oh, this was directional the way I cut it. See that? So now I can do it that way. So now we need our flap to be dented. Now. We we'll take this as a perfect fit. So we take our clip and we do both sides. There. So now we have all of our pieces together for this thing, for this wallet. Now, like I said, you can use it for gift cards, ATCs. Um, what else? I mean, basically anything. Okay. We're going to glue these panels here first so we can glue our pockets down. But first, we're going to glue out our panels for the pocket. So, let's get this show on the road, y'all. Okay, I'm going to put this one right in here. Take Mr. Rolly and spread that glue out. And then what I'm going to do, as I do the panels, I'm going to do the pockets so I can do the holes and everything. 
Let me put these. I gotta make me a magnet to put my clip my paper clips on. So we're gonna put this one and put the glue right on here. Okay. Right on there. I'm gonna take our piece here and put it right on there. Again, making sure before you roly poly doly. There. I see I need to trim it just a tad bit off. So I'm gonna fold these pockets over and just trim the little piece off and put it in my bin there. Okay. Now before I set this piece here, I want to punch my hole there. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing for each one. That's one notch. Let's go, let's glue this pocket down. Good old Mr. Rooley here. And I have a playing card somewhere here to show you guys. I mean, you can put even bookmarks in here if you make them small enough. Well, there we go. That one there, okay. And then this one's going to go here. And then here. Okay. So we're going to do this one first. And then we're going to do our inside panel. This one goes this way. There. Roly poly. Punchy nunchy. Like a dad. But first, we're going to put our panel down. Oh, before I put this pocket, oh, before I do the panel, since I already got the back panel on, I'm going to do this to where I can put my brad on. So, I'm going to do the back panel before I do this. Nope, not the back panel. We're going to fold this, this, and come in here. And see where I want to put my circle. I got to do this panel first. Because it's going to go in here. So let me do this panel first. I'll do this. Okay. There's more common, but I'm working on templates and stuff and promo uh, prototypes. So we're gonna put this one here. Oh crud! I think I did it wrong. Hang on. No, before I put the panel here, I want to put my circle. Okay, so. One circle is going to be right here, and this one's going to be right there. Okay, so I'm going to take this one off because I didn't put that panel there yet. I'm just going to punch my hole, get my pokey tool, and punch my hole right there. Hold this, pull this panel out, punch your hole. Get your brad. Yeah, I'm using what I have in, in my room, so there's nothing purchased for this project. These brads are tiny. So, 
See? Right here is my bread. I'm going to take it and open it up. These brads are mad tiny. So, instead of using my nail, I'm going to use my pokey tool. Well, it doesn't seem like that's going to work. That's not working. Let's get the magnifying glass out, y'all. I have no shame in my game. Okay. We got that. So now what I'm going to do is take my scissors and flatten that little one out. I'm going to take this panel and put it right on. Nope, not that panel. Put this panel on. So we got that dated. Okay. You see where I'm going? Huh? So this is going to be like so in a center here. Let's get Mr. Rowley. And I want to take our glue and put it right on the edge here. One reason I get the little fine tips, y'all. And then we got that. See? When you close it, right there. So let's do this last pocket. Front and back panels. Put that over there. Let's do the inside panel first. So we can get our pocket done. Okay. I'm going to put that like so. Oh, it's a little crooked. There we go. Roly poly. Now we're going to do this piece here. And I'm going to punch out some hole. And glue this pocket down. All right. Hmm. Yeah, nope. This way. Do this. Smooth it out. Roly poly. And take your hole punch or circle punch. Right there. And then we can put the circle punch away because we no longer need it. I'm going to put our glue right there. Now, for some of you, for some of the ATC cards, you might have to trim them down a little bit to fit in the pocket. Let's see, now we're going to do our back panel here. But they'll fit. I mean, my first one I did, it fit in all three pockets. For some reason, the second one, it didn't work so well. Okay, let's pull this down like so. Roly poly. Now, all we have left is this piece here. And this panel. So we're going to turn this over, move this circle out of the way, and put our last panel there. Okay. Yep, we got it the right way. Put this panel on here. 
Mr. Roly Poly and Gondoli. Now we're going to do the flap. So what do I want to do? Do the, the outside first. So I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to do the outside panel. So I'm going to put this on. Like so. This you don't need anything because nobody's going to see it. Well, I guess so. I should have made my panel on this one a little bit bigger. But that's okay. We can add to it. So now I want to pick where my circle is going to go. Hold it there. Because you see it's right even with the bottom. So we're going to hold it there. Take our pokey tool here. Poke that hole. I like to wind it around a little bit so my brad will fit in easy. Get your brad. Hold it. Well now. Okay. Need Mr. Magnifying Glass again, y'all. There we go. Put that back in the tool bin. Take the scissors. Flatten that. Flatten it real good. Okay. And then you take your last piece and put that panel on. Let me open this up. Like so. Roly poly to make sure it sticks. And then we got that. Now, I'm going to take some string. Or you can use twine. And what I'm going to do is slip this under here, take it, tie a knot, make sure it goes under the thing there, under the circle, come back in, do it again, go under. And then what I do, let me move this piece out of the way, is I turn it this way and put another knot on this side. Okay. And that way it doesn't come out. Okay. Snip this down to the edge of the circle. Like so. Close this up. And then you have your closure. Okay. Leave enough here to where when you uh, want to open it back up, you have enough string to pull it. Now, I pulled excess off, but that's okay. I'll save it for the next one. Now, let's get our piece for this. I have a long enough piece here. Let's open this up so I can measure it right. I want it flat. Because I got to make two pieces. So we're going to put this right up there and just mark it. Mark it right there and then bring it like so. 
straight. It's right above, right at, at that um, score line there. Okay. So we need two of these. One for the inside. So we're going to do like we did everything else. Now it's to find, once you mark it, it's hard to find the lines, y'all. Do that. And where's the other one? Right there. There. Now what we're going to do is take this one, turn that over, make sure they're even. Whoops. Not straight at all. And mark it. Okay, you got the concept of that. And we're just going to trim a bit inside that line. Let's take these two pieces, put them over there. We can put this up, pull this back out. We got our string there. Let's put the glue down here. This is a lot of new things on this one that I. I didn't get with the other one, so roly poly that one again. Put my glue down first, and take my piece and add it on. There. How about it? Now, we know the card fits in the center, right? Right? Let me close my glue. Close up that glue. You made a femur out of a tat. Oh, you got to post the pictures. Now, this one here, I would have to trim it down a bit. But it fits perfect, perfectly in this one. So this one you would have to trim down a little bit. And these two fit perfectly. But the thing is, is you can't make your ATC cards too bulky. But there's another way I can make this well that I'll show y'all in a different video. Okay. So let's close this one up. Now, you can add all sorts of decor to it, but it only make it bulky. So, I want this one to stay flat, but I have another way to make it to where you can do other things. So, we have this wallet and this wallet. How about that? How about it, y'all? Let's put all our tools in. Their respectful places. And it only took us an hour to make this. Even though I had to measure, cut, it still took me only an hour. So y'all can make these. Y'all can make a whole bunch of these. You know? But is there anything else y'all would like to make? like to see me make i'm gonna work on a prototype for the other style that i'm gonna make like this okay but i'm not gonna do it right now so in the chat um what would y'all like to see me make I'm hoping May's okay. I haven't heard from her today, so I don't know. Miss Carrie, have you heard from her? If there's nothing else, I will say good night, y'all. Anything else y'all would like to see me make? I mean, I can decorate that one, but. I don't want to make it too bulky. Oh, you know what? 
Hang on a second. I want to try something. Let's try something. <laughs> you can put a ticket. So y'all can make like a little ticket book um, to put like Valentine's Day, okay? So on Valentine's Day, you go on your computer or you find something, print it out, like some little tickets to what you want to do for a loved one or whatever, and make this uh, Valentine's Day theme, right? And put your little tickets in the pockets and Every week they can pull a ticket and say, well, this is what I want done this week. And then and they have their little wallet for the um, tickets to stay in. And you can do two of the pockets with the tickets. And the third one, right? Let me show you. You can do these two pockets with the tickets or these two packets with the tickets and put on right on here all tickets um how do you put it all tickets uh i lost my train of thought all used tickets or something like that in here and they can take the ticket that they use from this side or this side and put it right in the center so that way they know the center tickets are already been used and they have the other tickets that can be used. You know what I mean? This would be a good little wallet for something like that. Or you can do like a birthday theme uh, wallet. This is why I call it the multi-wallet. I don't call it an ATC wallet or whatever. It's a multi-wallet. I mean, you can use this for anything. You can use it for birthdays, Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, any, it's an anything wallet. Any, how, any, whatever you want to call it. So, is there anything else I would like to see me make? If not, I'll call it a night, y'all. Anything? So I have two of these, so I can make two more, and I have one for, well, I need three more. One for each one of my kids and one for each one of my grandkids for Christmas this year, because I can put my gift cards, that's another thing, yeah, I can use it for gift cards, ATC cards, gift cards, tickets, um, you know. Whatever's. Have a good night, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you. For, thank y'all for your support. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye for now. Stay tuned for what I'm gonna do next. Yeah, don't know. Bye.